So we will see now how to create points in Civil 3D. So for that, I am just going to consider one uh, reference. So for that, I am just going for insert OBJ command. And here I am just going for paintbrush picture. And uh, paste from so point creation. So this I am just going to consider. So with this reference, we are going to create uh, some points. So in this, the point A having only the elevation. So we can randomly choose some uh, some point. So now in the Civil 3D platform, we will see how to create a point. So for that, I am just going for POINT enter and uh, we can able to specify a point. So like this, we can able to create like a uh, normal points. And after we can able to convert this to Kobo point. So for that, you should select this option over here. And here we can able to go for convert AutoCAD points. So we can able to convert AutoCAD point objects to Kobo points. So select that and then select AutoCAD point that we have created now. And then you put enter. Now it is asking for description. If you want to enter anything, you can put. So otherwise, just enter. So like that, we have created one Kobo point. So this is what like a civil 3D point. So this is the easiest method of creation of AutoCAD points to civil 3D point or we can call it a Kobo point. So here I'm just going to delete it now. Now you can just go here and you can just click that. Once you click that, you will be available with the create points uh, tools. So here we can go for expanding it. There you can able to see the default layer. This is like a V node. So we can able to select uh, any of the layers available with. For that you should uh, click this icon. And after that, you can able to select any of the available layers. So this is like a default layers that we are available with, with lots of colors and then point styles. And in point creation also, we have like a northing and easting and also prompt for elevation manual, prompt for point names, none. If you don't want to put description, you can just go for prompt for description. Not automatic. You can just go for none. If you don't want that prompt again and again in the command bar. If you have any default elevation, you can mention here. Otherwise, no need to mention. You will be like uh, uh, available with every time when you are creating in command bar. So where you can able to input your elevations. Now I am just going to select this and then here we have manual option. Just click that manual option. Then it is asking for specify a location for the new point. So randomly I am just going to select and it is asking for elevation. So for elevation, I am going to refer one uh, image. So in that it is specified as 421.2. So I am just going to enter. So then we have created one point. It is having elevation of 421.2 units. And then we can go for creating a new points. For the next point, I also have azimuth and then distance. So for that, I'm just going to select options here. So here we have one option azimuth distance. Specify a point location at an azimuth and also a distance from a known point. So this option we can take in that case. So I'm just going to take it. So you should go for manual first and then you should go for this option. Otherwise we can't able to select. 
so now it got selected then it is asking for select starting point so if you can't able to like find the node then you can just go to host map and where you will be available with the node you can just check it again i'm just going for manual and then taking this option now i'm just going for the node now we can just go for specify azimuth so the azimuth is 327 d you must specify d for degree and then 52 minutes so you can put feet symbol for minutes enter and it is asking specify distance so distance you can just specify as it is and then it is asking for elevation 423.5 so like that we can able to create points so now if you want to like uh, show the point number you can go here now in this if you want to like uh, input a point number so you can just go for prospector and then here in point groups we have all points so right click and then go for properties now here we can just go for point groups information and then point label style we have so in point label style we can just go for point number only and you put apply and then ok then we can able to see the point number so it is like 20 21 it starts with 20 actually so this one is 20 and then 21 we completed we supposed to go for 22 point so like that i'm just going to create all those points 22nd point 39 degree 45 minutes 355.57 418.9 elevation so select again and then go for selecting this option and then select here now 144d 40 minutes 393.05 distance 437.3 enter so now totally 15 points we have created so finally the points looks like this and we can able to see all those details by clicking all points in prospector and we can able to see those details here in this section easting nothing point elevation and all those details you can able to see from here so like this we can able to create points in this civil 3d platform